This is Stan Stevens. I'm talking with Lance McCullough from Outlaw Rodeo. Lance, it's Labor Day weekend in Salem. That means it's time for the rodeo. Yes, sir. Time to come back to Salem. Uh, we really look forward to this rodeo all year, especially this year. We haven't had very many. A dang go Rona's kicking our butt, but that's okay. We're going to get through it and, and uh, love the Salem rodeo, ready to come back. Tell us a little bit about how this year has has gone. There just hasn't been that many rodeos out there, has there? There hasn't. Uh, everything, as everybody's well aware of, has been shut down off and on through the summer. You know, we started out with uh, right at 20 rodeos and bull riding, and this was Salem Rodeo will make the third one we've done all summer. Usually by the time we get to Salem, we've, we've got about two or three left. Uh, but, yeah, it's... Uh, stock is well rested uh everything's been bucking really good uh in the past couple of rodeos actually we just had in the past couple of weekends so um uh, looking forward to it looking forward to it so talk to us a little bit about how do you how do you handle your stock when when you're not rodeoing i mean is there something different you have to do to keep them healthy oh not really uh they're kind of on their own on automatic per se uh uh, you know, we've just been feeding them every day. You know, that's something that, that keeps going on throughout the year, whether you're making money or not. they got to eat just like everybody, you know. So, um, so no, we've just been kind of at the bulls here at the ranch. We just, I've got a, a, a oh, kind of a border collie and whatnot, and we just kind of, I'll, I'll lap them around the pasture a few times, just mm-hmm. give them a little exercise, you know, just trot them, lope them. Sure. Uh, horses kind of the same way. The girls and I go over there on horseback, just kind of, just kind of move them around a little bit. Just kind of keep, keep their muscles up, build them up, get keep them loose. You know, a couple times a week. Uh, you know, things like that always always tends to help. You know, as many rodeos as you have done in the past, and I'm sure, as you mentioned, by the time you get to Salem Rodeo, you're starting to wind things down to where everything is kind of on cruise control. This year has had to kind of throw you, you know, way off kilter where you, you probably, you're, you're double checking and triple checking to make sure you have everything because things just aren't the same. Yeah, no, it's, uh, when we go to pack up, you know, uh, actually the first, the, the two rodeos we've done so far, uh, one of them was our hometown, Bowling Green. The other one was Troy, Missouri, which is 45 miles away. So we was pretty pretty lucky, you know. If we needed something, we could always run back and get it. But, yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, um, Salem, you know, that's about three hours away from us. And, yeah, we're double-checking, triple-checking, packing, and trying to make sure we got enough. And and we got a really big lineup of Cowboys this weekend, uh, Cowboys and Cowgirls. So, uh, we might have to throw a few extra planks in, you know, and stuff like that. Some more feet does. We're going to take quite a bit of stock down there. So that's that's a real blessing, you know, is having the, the rough stock guys. You know, we've got quite a few of them this weekend. So we're looking forward to that and, and some really good hands, too. Uh, you know, we're, we went with IPRA this year, International Pro Rodeo Association, and uh, we've got, so oh, there's three or four of the horse riders, bareback saddlebone horse guys that, are, that have won the world top 10 in the world right now and then some bull riders the same way we've got a couple past champions of the world and and then uh, i've got some top 10s in there too so we're really excited about that so uh, a loss from a lot of other rodeos is going to be salem's gain this labor day weekend because of the top names that are coming into town you bet yeah like i say and then, and that helps too we switched associations uh kind of drawing out a whole different pool of cowboys uh so that you know uh that helps a lot too yeah i mean and and a lot of the rodeos shut down. Uh, of course, we're going to benefit from that too. So uh, their loss is our gain, I guess. Well, and, and we all know that uh, you know the more people that are there that the, the cheer on these guys, the better it is for them. But when you get this kind of class of people coming in, you're going to have a top notch show both both nights, Saturday and Sunday, because we know that there, there are going to be a couple of the rodeos this weekend that are going to be going on as well, right? Right, right. Yeah. No, they're uh, they're kind of moving around this weekend, kind of. It's almost, uh, I, like I say, it's kind of back to normal in a way. This weekend, you know, a lot of rodeos are when they decide to go ahead and have their rodeo. And uh, so they're moving, Cowboys are moving around quite a bit. But but uh, we, we have to snatch snatch the best ones up and, and, and quite a few of them. So we're pretty blessed with that. 
And, you know, the Salem crowd, and, and we all know that they, they've really come out and supported this rodeo, and I'm thinking with the weather they're predicting this weekend, this should be a fantastic crowd. They're going to see just a tremendous show. And, and you guys always have put on a tremendous show, but I think with the new Cowboys coming into town, some of the, some of the, the, uh, the, the people that are going to be here that they've not seen before, I think this could be probably the best show we've ever had here this year, right? Yes, sir. We're sure, we're sure planning on it. Um, yeah, uh, we're, we're uh, like I said, we're just the weather's going to be perfect. Um, the crowd's always great at Salem. Uh, big crowd. They always support us. Um, it's amazing, really. You know, that's a big. There's a lot of bleacher room there and whatnot, and they tend to fill it up every night. And you know, they really get into the rodeo. They're not just a bunch of dead duds per se. You know, they really get into it. And, and of course, it's kind of a ranchy area down there too so them guys they they know what a good rodeo is you know so that's that's nice to have that support for us and for the contestants and when you come to salem and uh, you get a chance to come out to the commons and you know a lot of the local people are preparing the arena for this rodeo they really do an outstanding job of getting this this arena ready for this this rodeo because that's not an easy thing to do is it lance no it's not it's it takes a lot people don't understand how much money and time it takes to fit on one of these rodeos you know Cause you want to do the very best, and each committee does, you know. And they really, especially this year, with with all the heartache and all the businesses shut down, and how slow the economy was there for a long time, you know. And it's so hard to go out to ask for money when people are so tight right now. And, and the people have been, the businesses down there have been real supportive, is what Melba told me in the comments. And, and you know, uh, yeah, I mean they've been working on this arena since last weekend. Uh, Melba, David, and them out there doing some stuff and whatnot. And, you, know, you got to check the lights and cut the grass and make everything nice as possible. You know, uh, they're real hospitable. The Commons and, and Melba and them guys just really work their tails off. We're, we're really proud of them. Really blessed to be a part of such good people. And the participants really enjoy a good arena when they know that they're going to have stable footing and that they're going to be safe when they fall because there's not a whole bunch of rocks and other other items in that arena, right? Oh, definitely, definitely. You know and. You know, we can't take, you know, we can't guarantee everything, but they, as long as people put out and, and try their very best, that's all everybody asks for. And, uh, yeah, when the, it's a good pen, Sandy, you know, I mean, it's, I know y'all got a bunch of rain down there the last few days, but I bet that pen's just about right, really, you know, because it, it could always, you know, you can dump thousands of gallons of water on there and they can still take it, you know, so. It holds up really, really well in the barrel race and the calf open and whatnot, and the rough stocks, you know. I mean, it's just really all around good footing, good arena, big. We all like that, you know. It's a big arena, big pen. Everybody's got plenty of room to move around. So, uh, bucket horses really do good in a bigger pen like that, so they can circle and whatnot. And, um, yeah, it's like I say, Salem's one of our funnest ones we go to. We always look forward to it. Um, just, it's a great, great, great rodeo. And, and as uh, as I hear now, it seems like a lot of the categories are filling up to where uh, we may actually have some uh, slack going on in the early morning hours, right? Yeah, yeah. On <laughs> Sunday, there's a bunch of uh, got like 40 team ropers there on Sunday night. Wow. You know, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, we got some slack in some other events too. I don't have my paperwork right in front of me, so sure. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. And, and, uh, yeah, I know the team rope is a big one sticks out. Got a few barrel racing flag, got some breakaway flag. Uh, I believe we got a little bit of calf roping, but the team roping just is crazy. And we got bulldoggers this year, you know. I think mm-hmm. we got six, six or eight one night and three or four the next night, which is usually we have trouble getting two or three one night, you know. Right. It's just, uh, no, it's, it's, uh, it's really, really a lot different than it has been in the past, and hopefully we can keep it up, you know, so. Always a top-notch show with you, Lance. And, of course, we appreciate everything that you do in bringing the stock down and, and uh, having everything go. Chris does a great job on on uh, announcing. And, you know, when you put the, the whole package together, it's just two wonderful nights on Labor Day weekend of a lot of fun that people can have and enjoy this beautiful weather we're expecting to have. You bet. Uh, actually, we're going to switch it up a little bit this year. Chris had some prior, uh, prior obligations, so we've got uh, – Actually, we're going to have two announcers this year. Oh, wow. We're going to have uh, Isaiah Garn and uh, Dylan Groves, and uh, both uh, MRCA finals announcers. Uh, I've used them in the past. Good guys. Uh, like I say, Chris has got booked up. Weekends, we kind of was the, the weekends fall funny this year. We wasn't paying attention earlier in the year. And, 
<laughs> and uh, so our wires got crossed up, but we love Chris to death. And, and uh, but no, it, we kind of switched, and it'll be a good switch, you know, kind of have somebody, a couple guys, a little different. Oh sure. These two ought to really play off each other and and uh, really well, and and uh, so we're looking forward to that too. This is, you know, it's kind of rare you have two announcers, but by golly, we're going to do it. So keep things alive, you know. So. Well, we're really, really looking forward to it, and Lance, we can't wait for Labor Day weekend to get here, and I know you can't either, and have a great rodeo here in Salem, and we wish you safe travels getting here, my friend, and we look forward to uh, having your, your uh, company come down and put on just another fantastic show. Well, thanks for having us. We really appreciate it. We, like I say, we really we really think a lot of Salem, Missouri, and, and everything, and everybody down there, and we can't wait to come back. Thank you, Lance. Appreciate it. Thank that, you. That's Lance McCollum, Outdoor, uh, Outdoor, Outlaw Rodeo, right here in Salem this weekend. Thank you, Lance.